Jeez, I got something to say. I got something to say. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG and GM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. Today, I'm here to deliver some sad, solemn, and overall unfortunate news as it pertains to Shakur Stevenson. You know, Shakur Stevenson, uh, he was supposed to be fighting Joe Cordina, right? Well, let's go. Let's, let's, let's rewind a little bit, right? He was initially supposed to fight Shakur. Uh, uh, fight, fight Cepeda, right? It's supposed to be Shakur versus Cepeda. Yeah. Then it was supposed to be Shakur versus Cordina. Yeah. And now it's Shakur versus nobody. 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 <laughs> and that's because, you know, the fight between him and Cordina has been canceled due to Shakur uh, sustaining some uh, hand injuries uh, during his training. And you know that those of you that have been paying attention to Shakur Stevenson's career, you know, as of his particularly as of late you know he's, he's been riddled with hand injuries most famously with the time against um that he hurt his hand against edward de los santos you know what i'm saying and which produced a very boring fight to say the to, to say the least and um now today has been announced that um shakur has apparently um tore a tendon in in, in his knuckle and um you know he, he has went and um went through a procedure a medical procedure you know immediate surgery to to correct the issue but it will have him sit out not only miss this fight but the the but the remainder of the year you know so um they're hoping that he comes back early next year and that would lead us to believe that he would probably just forfeit uh a fight in the interim and just go straight to his uh, defense against a mandatory in William Zapata, assuming William Zapata beats um, Tevin Farmer on the 16th. So I think that um, while while we don't want to hear this news, right, because um, he went from fighting a good fight <laughs> against Zapata to an okay fight against Cordina to nobody now, you know, and this is the worst case scenario. So so my heart goes out to the young man, but I think he'll be all right, of course, and bounce back. Uh, appropriately and effectively i just don't know what he's gonna do like is he gonna go immediately into the williams apeda match early next year that's what it seems like is um what would happen that seems like it will be part of the procedure right and how things will progress naturally but you never know maybe he wants another fight um to test his hands out you know his brittle hands um or you know maybe he'll just jump right into the in, into the Zapata fight which would be what we would like right that's what we would like to see but not only that though what is joe cordina going to do eddie hearn has said that he wants him to have a big fight too as a replacement and you know eddie hearn is the pivot king he's going to pivot you know a short notice like how he had to do with jerome boots and cody crowley when cody crowley pulled out he went right to david avanesian and then when zapata wasn't available due to a baby even though he came back and said that he's available <laughs> at the same time that he said he wasn't available initially and now he's fighting Tevin Farmer you know you think what you want about that but I think that El Camarón is El Pato you know what I'm saying Every day that I mention, William William the Ducks of Peta but it is what it is man the fight eventually happens and it doesn't matter you know it's all good but um so Joe Cordina you know let's see if he actually gets to pivot as Eddie Hearn has suggested, and they find an alternative fight for him. Now, is it going to be a big fight like Eddie Hearn uh, uh, proclaims? I don't know about that, but maybe. You know, he is still coming off his first loss, and it was a stoppage to Anthony Kakasi. So we'll see how that goes, man. But yeah, most importantly, man, I just want to let y'all know the news about Shakur Stevenson's fight being off, and we won't see him until early next year, but at least he, he underwent immediate surgery. And I'm assuming that he'll have a, a appropriate recovery, a swift recovery, and... Um, a full recovery and then we'll probably see him in the beginning of next year good lord willing man but y'all let me know what y'all think about that are y'all disappointed i mean i don't think too many people were looking forward to the fight to be honest anyway because it was on it was scheduled to be on october 12th and it would be on the uh on the card with better be the bivol that was split into two right better be the bivol be being broadcasted on espn plus and shakur and cordina being moved up to the headline of the pay-per-view card so is a pay-per-view card still going to be pay-per-view um is it going to be a little cheaper than i think it was listed at uh 15 dollars it's going to be a little cheaper than that who knows are they just going to bump up somebody that's on the card already like uh jay apatai and jack massey or uh, uh, Frazier Clark and Fabio Worley. That was a great fight. That's going to be their rematch. You know what I'm saying? Those are two English heavyweights that weren't crazy in their first fight. So, you know, there's a lot of options that they have. We'll see how it goes. And I'll definitely keep y'all updated uh, um, um, throughout the process, man. And, and as the news comes in. So I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Remember, we got, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. Y'all know what time it is. The doctor's out. Peace.
From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.